All right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's webinar. I uh, appreciate everyone's time as always. Um, we are excited to release two new products uh, here in the HVAC market. Uh, and we're just gonna give you a brief overview of those two products today. Uh, this webinar will be recorded and available. So we'll hold questions till the end. Uh, please put your questions in the chat area and I'll try and go over those at the end. And this was not gonna be an extremely long or drawn out webinar, we'll keep it short today. So uh, without further ado, uh, further ado, let's get started here. So the first product we're gonna talk about is our new KSR 3.0 product. Um, so when it comes to rooftop noise control, obviously air handling units on the roof are a big problem when it comes to noise uh, and vibration. Essentially, you have a roof curb, which is an opening into the space below, often the most sensitive space right below the roof. Uh, and you have multiple sources of noise getting through that roof curb. The roof curb essentially becomes uh, almost like a, um, a speaker box. Uh, and that speaker box uh, has an opening into the building. So noise and vibration is easily transmitted to the space below. The KSR we're gonna highlight today uh, essentially takes care of one and two. Uh, that's the vibration from the fans and the compressors within the unit itself uh, and the vibration from the casing. An air handling unit is essentially a big sheet metal drum skin with a, with a bunch of energy going through it. And that vibration can easily be transmitted to the structure below. So when we talk about a KSR, what does that stand for? It stands for kinetic spring rail. Uh, a spring rail is essentially uh, a rail of springs that sits on top of a non-isolated factory roof curb. So in this image here, the blue shaded area is the factory roof curb that's provided by others. The spring rail highlighted in red sits on top of the factory curb. So it's an addition to an existing product that now adds isolation for the vibrating unit that's going to sit on top of it. So uh, with this particular unit, with this iteration of the KSR, uh, we've added the KCI isolator. So the KCI isolator has a Miami-Dade approval for wind. It's seismically rated, and it is an adjustable spring. So these guys will sit in the rail, uh, and they're adjustable springs. The top channel, which is this area here, can actually come in different depths so that uh, the unit that sits down, if it has a particular deep um, you know, rail along the side, uh, we can capture that unit specifically. Uh, factory assembled parts are pre-assembled, uh, making setup a breeze. Um, we integrate seismic and wind restraint in the isolator, but we also add additional seismic and wind cable restraints in the unit um, as well for extra capacity when it's needed for high wind and seismic applications. Why is wind, re wind restraint important? Obviously, here's a great example. You've got a big custom air handling unit that was at one point sitting on this curb over here, uh, and the wind has picked that unit up and uh, luckily, it didn't end up in the uh, in this getting off the building uh, and injuring someone. So wind restraint is important, and we're extremely mindful of that. So with the new KSR, uh, just like the old iteration, we are going to offer it in one and two inch deflection springs, uh, and it's going to come in a fully or partially assembled option. So the picture on the left is going to signify uh, exactly what you get when you order it fully assembled. So fully assembled is going to come, as you see on the picture, it's going to be loaded on the truck. Everything's going to be pre-installed 
uh, you sit it down on the curb um, and then screw it in place. Very easy. Obviously, shipping can get expensive. Uh, the bigger the unit, sometimes you can't ship a fully assembled rail system uh, that big. So we do offer partially assembled. Uh, here's kind of an example of one of the rails going on the factory curb. So the rails come fully assembled with all of the componentry, uh, and then you would mount each one of those rails on the factory curb uh, before attaching uh, each rail to each, to each other in the corners. Um, with this version of the KSR, uh, you are gonna, uh, the contractor is going to have to uh, add curb stiffeners below each spring location. We're not designing the curbs, it's somebody else's curb. So we want to make sure that curb doesn't fail with the strains of the springs and buckle. So curb stiffeners will need to be added. It's as simple as uh, ripping down a two by four and putting it in the factory curb. Next, I'm going to show you the installation video. Uh, this installation video is uh, going to show you the partially assembled uh, KSR version of the 3.0. So uh, with the 3.0 partially assembled, uh, as mentioned before, you're going to start with the focus on the curb stiffeners. So we're going to make sure the curb stiffeners are installed in the curb and they can go inside or outside the curb. And then you will simply add each rail onto the factory curb. So you would screw each rail in place. They'll be labeled with the installation instructions. Here, the long rails going on first on each side. And then you would add in the short rails on the ends and overlap the corners and then tech screw it together. So now you've essentially made the full perimeter of the KSR uh, on the curb. You would add in any cross bracing that's needed and provided in your kit is going to be uh, the flex duct support. So that can also be a touch. You would roll out the weather seal, the rubberized weather, weather skirt all the way around, make relief cuts in the top corners, uh, and then use the provided weather seal tape to complete uh, the full perimeter weather skirt. There's the retaining channel that comes as well. Sit that down on top. It's going to protect the rubber when you set the unit. Obviously, the sealing tape drop the unit in place. At this time, it's important you lift up the weather skirt, get it out of your way, and start adjusting the spring. So three turns or on each spring, going in, in a, a clockwise motion all the way around in a circuit until all the springs are floating. Finally, you would attach the seismic cables so they're loose, drop the weather seal over the top of the weather membrane installed by the roofer and then use your attachment clip. So that's a quick video of installation of the partially assembled uh, KSR. And essentially when you look at this picture here, I'm going to pause the video. This is how it will look when it comes fully assembled. So uh, as you can see, a lot of steps uh, on the video is skipped by getting a fully assembled KSR in place uh, just to sit down on the factory curb. The reason it's important uh, that we made these changes is one of the things that was an issue with the old design of the KSR is it did not have adjustable springs. Uh, these types of units you see here with the overhanging condensing sides to them often would not sit level on the old spring rail. The springs not being adjustable wouldn't allow for leveling of the unit. So uh, what would end up happening is the units would sit unlevel on the KSR. The top channel uh, I mentioned can come in different depths, four inch, six inch, eight inch, and 10 inch. And that's gonna help with the different base rail depths uh, of the units. Essentially, if the unit has a long, 
deep overhang, uh, it could cover up the springs and we don't want that for adjustment reasons. So all of that will be engineered into your design of, of the KSR. Um, like all of our curb products, you can get the available options from Kinetics for your KSR. Um, the KRT is our integrated restraint toggle bolt for attaching the unit to the top of your KSR. Uh, the airborne noise control package, so you can get something like our RT7 acoustical package that helps with those other noise sources uh, I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation. And then, of course, we can offer certified designs for wind and seismic and offer the calculations. So that's it for the, um, the installation and the highlight of the KSR 3.0. Uh, next, we're going to talk about our VLOC product. VLOC is our newest seismic restraint cable system. So what is seismic restraint as it pertains to us in the HVAC market at Kinetics? Uh, we are looking to restrain the non-structural component trees in buildings to make sure that it does not fall on the occupants. So this picture shows uh, a space after an earthquake where the non-structural components have actually fallen in on the occupants. So seismic restraints are used to eliminate this from happening. So this is VLOC. It's an extremely simple design and extremely easy to install. Um, the reason we went with this updated design to our existing seismic offering is just to save time for the contractor during the installation process. Our existing product has served us well over the years. It was called QuakeLock. Um, and Quake Lock, as anyone that's used it knows, does take a little bit of time to install correctly. There are torque settings that each one of the set screws has to be tightened to. So uh, somebody has to feed the cable through and then adjust each one of these screws. With V Lock, you just simply loop the cable around whatever it is you're restraining. Uh, and then uh, feed the cable right through the V-Lock system and it locks onto itself. So there are no wrenches or anything like that that need to be done and it cuts down significantly on installation time. Here is a uh, uh, drawing for the V2 kit. So the V2 V-Lock seismic kit is going to include two seismic restraint cables, 15 feet long. It comes pre-swaged on one end with a hook bracket already installed. And then the V-lock plate and the other hook bracket will be loose in your kit. This is the 1 8 inch cable kit with a rating of 1,070 pounds. The V3 and the V4 kit, which are um, larger cables going up to 3 16 and quarter inch cable, they're going to hold up to 2,300 and 3,300 pounds respectively. They come with an angle bracket attachment that's a lot beefier. Again, 15 foot cable pre swaged at one end, a loose bracket in the V lock plate at the other end, two cables per kit. The hook system used on the smaller cable is also designed to enable quicker installation. This example with the angle bracket, you would have to remove this nut all the way off the rod to install the angle bracket. Here you're going to see an example of where the hook system really does help save time for the contractor. So you can undo the nut a little bit, slide the hook around the thread, and then it's locked in. And here you can see how easy it is to install the V-lock. So this particular piece of equipment is suspended very quickly. Uh, again, I'll show uh, here on a trapeze system, uh, right around the hook system through the V-lock holes, uh, and it's locked in place. So 
how quick is that installation taken? Um, in the real world testing that we've done, um, I'll show you a video of that here right now. So in the real world testing, it took about one minute and three seconds for a contractor to install one seismic cable. Uh, this particular video, he's using it to suspend some flex duct across a space, but this was uh, a test for us to uh, understand exactly how quick you can install it. So uh, um, the time is going uh, at the bottom of the video here. It takes about one minute and three seconds. So he's attached uh, what essentially would be his hook bracket in the top. Uh, and he feeds, uh, he figures out the length of cable he wants. And he pre-feeds the cable through the first two holes of the V-lock, leaving the third hole open. This enables him to get the V-lock approximately in the position he wants it. Uh, and now when he feeds the other end of the cable around the equipment, or in this case, the other cable, he can feed it through the third hole in the V-lock under the loop of cable that he has sticking out and then pull it in place. So as you can imagine with the old uh, Quake lock system, something like that would have taken significantly longer uh, because they would have to be torque wrenching all of the set screws in place. So uh, we're really uh, happy to bring the V-lock to the market. We're excited to see this product grow uh, and maybe bring other iterations of the product to the market as well. Kinetics engineering team are ready to start using the V-Lock in their, all of their designs. So um, from now on going forward, as you get a seismic project, we will be designing that around V-Lock. All right, that concludes our webinar today. Again, I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Uh, there'll be uh, flyers coming out to all of the reps to uh, on, for these products. The website will sh shortly be uh, showing these two products on their landing pages. Um, I see one question right now in chat that asks about video recording, yes we will have a recording of this particular webinar available uh, and we'll post that on LinkedIn, put it on our website and send the link out to our reps. Uh, and that concludes today's webinar. So thanks everyone for their time. Uh, we're excited to see these products hit the market and my email is on the screen. I'll leave that up for a few minutes here. If anyone has any questions or needs to reach out to me, please don't hesitate to send me an email. Thank you and have a great day.